I'm so excited about these costumes you've designed for me, Roman. Even if they're a little bit opulent for my taste, I think it really complements that gold color we're going for in Aichan's hair. By the way, I'm sending her to the stylist today to have her hair permed for the event. I'm trying to get it to look a little bit more like mine, you know, with the curls and all that. I'm so excited, though. It'll match the costume so beautifully, Roman. So beautiful. Hello, yes, it's Sunku. I called you earlier that I was sending Takahashi Ai to get her hair cut and permed so that she looks beautiful and glorious for her graduation concert. Well, I would like to add that I would like you to dye her hair brown. Yes, I know that the gold looks very nice and makes her stand out like a star, but I want it brown. No. Takahashi wants it brown. She wants it as boring and brown as her hair was before she became big and famous. Yes. And if she gets upset at you and screams that you messed everything up, it's just because she's emotional. You know, graduating and all that. Yes. The mousiest brown you can find. Thank you. Buh bye bye no one outshines my arena! Well, I understand we've been blowing budget for the last several singles, but I just don't know what to do. I mean... This is a special what? I'll just have, I'll have to call you back. I can't focus right now. I don't know what we're going to do, Roman. This is just going to be so hard. Well, I of mean, course it's going to be hard. You did two singles. Two! Of course I had two. Two A-sides. Takahashi I. Oh, I, God. A, I. Two letters in her name. Oh, two singles. How am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to stretch a budget between two singles? I have to come up with two of everything. How about I'll do this? This will be good for you, and it'll be a nice little lesson for you. I'll have a budget for everything. What? You'll have a clothing budget. What? You'll have a set budget. What? You'll have a... Well, what else do you actually even do? Hair. Makeup. My hair, makeup. And we'll have a little personal catering. one for you so that... Catering? Why don't I ever get to eat? We'll have a little one for you, too, so that you can get your hair done up or something. Budgets? You're giving me budgets? I have. You're giving me budgets. He's giving me budgets. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> budgets. <laughs> I Welcome to Morning Musume Monday. My name is Jeremy. And I'm Jake. And this week we are reviewing two singles. Morning Musume's first ever A-side. Would you like to double attempt A -side. first double A-side, excuse me. Would you like to attempt to say the name with me? Yes. In fact I will do it on my own. The first single is Grab Your Dreams on the Rainbow Road. And the second one is, let's open a hamburger shop with our boyfriend. Double dream. <laughs> so first off, a disclaimer. I like the second song. I'm not a huge fan of the first one. So I know this song was a really big deal for a lot of people, especially fans of iChan. So I'm really sorry. I didn't hate the song. It just kind of bored me. But I love the music video. So I'm just warning you ahead of time so that you're not blindsided by me saying anything negative about the first single. It just, it was not my favorite. I'm so sorry. I can't even do it today. It, this is a song about For the Rainbow Road dreams. song. For the Rainbow Road song. This is a song about catching your dreams. It's a song about finding love and peace and happiness. And more symbolically, it's more of a tribute to Aichan. And I think that it was a very, very pretty song. I love the instrumentals of it. I think it's very fast-paced. It reminds me of a love child of Egal Yes Nude 
along with some of the more ganky, upbeat songs that we had before I Chan became leader. With just a hint that senpai song. Senpai! And then... Just a sprinkling. Which is actually kind of cute if you think about it. What's that? To me that it reminded me of the senpai mm -hmm. song, since that was... wasn't that... That wasn't their generation song, it's just a new generation song, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but even then, it was like one of the first songs that I sang as part of Morning This May. Yeah. It was like her introductory song, she sang it in her last concert too, so... As much as I was kind of not impressed by this song, the fact that it brought that to mind, I do find it kind of cute. Mm. Then... Karatoi Shoni was kind of a party song. It was kind of a bit nonsensical and crazy. It had a lot more high notes. It was a lot more Sainami led than anything we've ever heard before from the group before. We've never had a complete Sainami led song before, and I love it. It was really cute. I didn't like it the first time I heard it, um, but once I heard it the second time and I saw what the lyrics were, I, I love it now because the first time I saw it, I was worried it was going to try to be a serious song with that goofy. Because they've done that before. They have. But they're bouncing around. Love is a never ending, powerful thing that makes, you know, grown men weep and it makes me cry into my pillow every night. It, it was just a goofy, frilly song with a goofy, frilly tune and a goofy psychedelic music video. They did three, four, or five sets for this day. They did some pretty basic stuff. The three main sets were the bedroom set, which consisted of a bed for each of the members with their own individualized bedding, a door frame, and then a little um, vanity with some makeup on it. That you know attacked I mean? Sayumi. That attacked Sayumi in her sleep. The second set for the, uh, for the first video, main set, we're talking still, was the green screened Mario Kart Rainbow Road. Don't tell me it wasn't. Rainbow Road for Mario Kart with a big was. spinning world in the back. With there a was a spin big world. spinning planet Earth in the back. Yeah, and they, I can't, they probably got that from <laughs> Love Machine. Kogunyoze. Kogunyoze. They went back in time and they're like, that's a good graphic of a spinning Earth. We've used it a few times before. Kogunyoze. Slap it in! So that was the second main set for the first music video. The second video, again, was green screened and there was no definite theme other than maybe anime manga drawn on yeah. backgrounds. They had a cityscape, they had Mishigushi <laughs> They had <laughs> they had a little restaurant for Sayumi and then there were was also really cute. the two um, close up rooms. There was the one for Karatoi Shoni which had the colored backgrounds that were spinning around mm. and that, that was more of a green screen room and then there was the gold shiny shimmery room for the first music video that was the close up. But they did a lot of green screen this week. It was a lot of green screen. They are chinsing back on budgets. I wonder why. Well, how exactly have we been yeah. dealing with the budget? I just will have to have you talk to the set designer himself. He'll be I... able to explain a little bit more what he's done. Here's the phone for you, Roman. Tell them exactly what your plans were for this and how you saved us some money. Roman Romaji! Because you know I have been spending some money. Yes, well, in order to save money, since we spend so much money on uh, the graduation and some of the other things, I decided we'd revolutionize this this time and went with green screen! Yes! Green screen! The green screens are a fraction of the cost and we can put whatever we want behind I'll them. call you back later. So, Roman, what exactly did you green screen? Well, you know, the first song you told me about grabbing that star yes. in dreams, and it, dreams. And, and it reminded me of Mario Party. And um, I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart lately, and there's this one level, it's so hard, I never can beat it. It's called Rainbow Road. And the whole thing is just, it's like a giant rainbow road set in outer space with like arches and stars. And so I, I just, I, I just, I stole that from Nintendo. But you know what? I found a discount. Uh, no, this was this is designer. I found a discount Christmas tree topper, and I got that for I to grab, and it's really pretty. What does she know, Yumi? Okay, well wait, 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 wait. What about you? Didn't even ask me about the second one. Okay, well, I've been drawing a lot lately. God. And so I just I drew all the sets for the second music video since it's so fun and ganky and 
and cute. So I, I drew them all, and I thought it turned out really good. Oh, oh, I drew a picture of you to put in it. Oh, my God. Look, I drew you as a dinosaur. Ah! I will say that the costumes for the first video made me very uncomfortable at first. So with the older girls, it doesn't bother me as much because I know that they're all above age, but with the younger girls, it made me a little bit uncomfortable. They reminded me of the Onani Sachi Are costumes a lot, just without the feathers and snipped up with some beading added. And uh, it was a little bit like a dream warrior princess vibe. <gasps> what about my costume? Okay. My costume. Okay. Oh! I'm fine. Good. All right, so for costumes, I, you said you wanted it all to be a dream, a happy, beautiful dream. So what I did was I went to the department store and I found the most beautiful designer pajamas. Designer pajamas? Oh, they're beautiful. They've got such fun little patterns on them. I chance got apples. They're so cute because she's the apple of your eye. Oh. Get it? Eye. Oh. <laughs> oh. Anyways, so they were kind of expensive. Oh. Oh. And I had to buy the matching bed sheets to match since they're going to be in their beds. That blew most of the budget for costumes. I told you, this is a new thing and I'm not very good at it. So, what I did was um, that one song, the saloon one, with the chiken feathers. Ona... Nisachiare. Ona Nisachiare. You remember those gold costumes? Yes. You liked those gold costumes. I did. I took those, I redid them, added some bling, added some dream warrior princess vibe, took off the feathers and saved Save them. those, we'll need them later. Oh, I always save feathers. And I stuck them on the girls, and let me tell you, those new diets I put them all on, they all look good. What about Canon? I hear that she is losing quite a bit of weight lately. I'm so excited for her. Tell me about the second single, since you've blown my budget. Okay, well, after I redid the Onani Sachiare costumes, we had about mm, four yen left. So, I, uh, I took a cab across <gasps> town to, um, to a Tata's house, <gasps> and I, I broke in, <gasps> and I stole her costumes from Keep Trying. <gasps> But you know what? That one policewoman costume looks fantastic on eye. The waitress costume. And then they put some mismatching gloves, gave I a gun, and Sayumi some fake cheeseburgers and fries, and green screened them in an anime background. And they done. And they, she even, uh, Utami they even does that. Do, 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 do. I didn't even tell him about the props I got. It works. So cute! There's a hair in this lemonade. I'm sorry, it's probably one of mine. That's gross! Let's talk about Aika. Can we talk about Aika? Aika's totally busted her ankle at this point, and she's no longer she's performing in anything. Busted. And she showed up in the two music videos in the cheapest way absolutely possible. <laughs> it made me so sad for her. It actually hurts me because she's clearly, she can't, she, did she sprain her ankle or break it? She, she did something terrible. I completely she really forget what happened. Jacked she up jacked up her ankle. Her ankle, her During leg. Only You, because that dance was intense. And so for these two, both of these music videos, what they did was they sat her down on a stool and then tried to cleverly hide that stool. So if you notice, she's not in the actual dance breaks for either of the songs. Uh, in the first one, she's just conspicuously not there. And then for the second one, they're all dancing on the ground, and then there's Aika sitting on a cloud in the sky, waving. Because her ankle's busted, and she can't be dancing. She's also, um, it's, oh gosh, it's so bad because you can totally tell she's sitting down, and it's like a green stool that they tried to green screen out, and it just looks like she's awkwardly squatting and pooping whenever they stand her up. Like, there's a shot where she looks through a door, and she's clearly actually, like, just sitting on a bench, leaning through the door frame. There's another shot. <laughs> There's another shot where she's where they're all huddled together, trying to sing with each other, and she looks like she's squatting, taking a poop. And her squished face does not help make that look less like she's taking a dump. Poor Anka. 
And I actually feel bad for her. Well, I want to start with English Fails. Oh, since we English since we were talking about the sets and some of the green screen, there were a couple little English Fails here and there that were strewn across the set. And this is going to be the first time that we're going to see this in the next couple singles. We're going to see it again not too long from now. There was Michishigi Hamburger. Michishigi? All I could see was a little hamburger with Sayu's head in the middle of it. That's all I could see when I think about that. The little head then, that they uh, green screened on top of Reina's body. <laughs> when I, when this song first came out, I talked about it, is the Riho English Fails. Because in the background of one of her solos near the end, she's standing in front of like this big family, family tree, and on it is old broth. It was supposed to be old brother, but the R clearly was not there, and even if you go scene by scene, you will see that there is no R at the end of it. Oh. So it literally says old broth, and then she has mother and father in low, not in law. So, obvi uh, so I'm thinking that either someone has it out for this girl, or that there is just a really dumb person that Google translated everything. All right, for this background for Riho, father-in-law, great aunt, older sister. Oh. <sighs> Old broth. Old father-in-law. Oh, Roman must never know that I did this. It's quite invigorating changing the skits and the sets and the costumes in the background. Oh, God, you would be proud of me right now. So now let's talk about both of these as graduation singles. I think that the first song was more representative of Aichan, and I really like that her graduation single was not the same as what her leadership has been characterized as. Her leadership has really been characterized with sadness, breakups, and this is one that she's wishing and hoping and dreaming for peace. And I like that both singles were focused on dreams. Like the first one's like Ai Chen's dream of, I want peace and love and happiness in the world. And then Sayumi's just like, I want to open up a shop. I want to be the leader. I want to do something. I want to have fun. Let's do it. And then in that video, Ai Chen is showing up in the back, her big old head is floating above all the girls, like she's watching over them. And then in the first one, she reaches up and grabs her dream, and grabs a star, and she holds on to it, and she's able to let it go, because it's like she grabbed on to what she wanted. She grabbed on to Morning Musume, she became the leader, she took care of it, and then now she's letting it go again. <laughs> However, I think that both of these songs are nowhere near as sad as Jishin Mote Yume Mote Tobitatsu Kara. These were just some long freaking names, weren't they? That was the one she got by herself, right? That was her solo song. Yay. So at the end of Sayumi's uh, dream about opening a restaurant with her boyfriend, all of a sudden she pops up in the gold dream princess warrior costume from the first music video, and she's singing, and all of a sudden she looks down, realizes what she's wearing, and freaks out. So I don't know what to make of that. either. It's just kind of like an in-joke that since these this was a double A-side and they did film these two music videos together and they put them together as one big long mini movie sort of thing, is it kind of like an inside joke that they were just like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if she's wearing the costume from the last one, like she got confused? Or did she fall out of I's dream into Sayumi. Sayumi's dream? What's happening here? I just thought that was cute because I like the way she was like all into it and then she looks down and she's like, oh no. Oops, that's me. That's Sayumi. It's like a bad sitcom. That's Sayumi. That's Sayumi. Oh, Mariko, you're so funny. Oh, Sayumi. Oh, I had this really awesome dream about opening up a shop with you. I thought it'd be so much fun. That's so Sayumi. Isn't it though? I'm so cute. <laughs> <laughs> the ninth gen are basically non-existent for me at this point. The only one who is really sticking out to me is Canon because her smile is so bright still and she's still has so much energy and I am loving her at this point and I'm sad to see her get pushed back more and more and more every single time that a single comes out. And it was such a tease to see her in this video eating the apple and growing the wings and flying away like and maybe Cannon's gonna blossom and it's not gonna happen unfortunately. 
Ah uh, yes, Roman, I have finally done some damage control. Utada has no idea what we've done. Perfect. I do have to ask you though. I'm planning on making Suzuki Cannon my next lead. Cannon! Cannon. She has impressed me. So in Karito Yushoniga Omistega Shitai, I'm planning on making her one of the center vocalists. What? Because she's really got that idol persona I'm looking for. She's got the right body shape for an idol. I'm putting it in the works right now. Okay. I just wanted to let you know to design something special for her. Thank this time you, around. I will. It'll be beautiful. And she'll look so skinny and pretty. Oh, good. Remember. Only healthy eating for my new star. Only healthy eating for the new star! Yeah, right. Okay, there we go. Alright. Hello, Canon! It's Roman Romanji. Hi, sweetie. You don't know who I am either. Perfect. I'm Suku's assistant. Yes, the one with the yellow, the weird hair. Okay, listen, um, uh, here's the deal. We're a bit worried about you. You've been looking a little frail lately, so you need to start eating more, sweetie. We can't keep you in the group unless you start eating more. Yes, I've got apples for you, some healthy things, some, some fruits, some vegetables, some chocolate shakes. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You'll look fine. It won't make you gain bad weight. It'll make you gain good weight. It's good for you. We need to impart a healthy, full-figured image. Okay, just keep eating, honey. Eat until you drop. Well, I eat. do have a quick question for you while I'm on the phone with my publicist. Is butter a carb? Butter is everything, you ignorant bitch. Oh, okay. Thank you. Butter. Straight out of the fridge. Just take a stick and cram it down your little throat. It's good for your voice, too. Okay, bye-bye. Have fun eating. Whew. Damage control, baby. So last week, we asked a couple of different things. Jacob asked you guys about the auto-tune, and I asked you guys about being ready for I tend to be leaving. And these were responses that we got. You know, that's the thing I've always said with Morning Must May, is as long as it's a more electronic sounding song, I don't mind more processed vocals. It's when they do more acoustic sounding songs and they process the vocals that my brain just goes Bleh. Roman's basically gonna freak out in a couple of weeks, if not a couple of months when it actually happens. I... P.S. Because they know that we know about this. I am devastated that Reyna is leaving. I am... devastated. Not as badly as I was when I found out Gaki left, because I went into a depression for an entire week. He really did. It was a really, really difficult did. week. But I am devastated that Reyna is leaving, and my my wallet is devastated, because I know I'm going to end up buying at least one of the CDs her band puts out. Oh, Sunku, why you so cray would add new girls? Thank you. You took the words right out of my mouth. Melana Tofeko, I actually had a big, long piece that Jacob talked about in the last video and I cut it because it was about six minutes long where I'm Jacob was talking about how a lot of times when girls are... Well, you explain it. You're the one that said it. I said basically, like, it, to me, I dyeing her hair and changing her hair so drastically was like when a girl is in a show, a musical theater show, and then she goes and she auditions for the new show, and in this new show they need her to have a completely different hairstyle, and they're already in that new show, so they change their hair to reflect that. And, um... Maybe if you guys are lucky, Jeremy will put together uh, some extra deleted goodies. A lot of deleted goodies. A lot of deleted goodies. Because I, I come up with a lot of good nuggets, let me tell ya. Uh, and you can see me actually explain it better there, but you, you know me. So this week we want to ask you our typical graduation question. Do you think that both of these singles were appropriate for Ai-chan as a leader to be graduating? She's the sixth leader that we're going to have seen left the group. And we are now moving into Nigaki's leadership of the group. And are you guys excited to see Nigaki as the leader for a little bit? Let us know below and we Thank will you. respond to you guys next week when we are going to be reviewing Pyoko Pyoko Ultra. And on that happy note, he will see you every day this week. I will see you on Friday. Friday. Gonna get down on Friday. Whoa! Happy Thanksgiving.
It's past Thanksgiving. So we'll see you guys all next week. Peace out. You take a month. <laughs> Grab that star. Grab it. Unfortunately. Yes. The band idea is being put on the back burners for Reyna. But oh, no. we're looking for girls as we speak. I have some un some of my best people out searching Japan for great vocalists and band players to back her up. But for now, we'll just focus on Nigaki leading the group. Which, by the mm. way, she called me this morning. Did she know? She wants to graduate. Nigaki. I've decided to make her stay. Because my 10th generation girls are just about to start. My brand new girls, <sighs> shining stars, I cannot <laughs> wait to see you when you see them, Roman. You're just going to love them, especially Kudo. She's got this short little haircut just like you, and it's so... Oh, goodness. Shh, we don't talk about it. Listen, I have some issues with what you've just pooped on my face. Firstly, Nigaki wants to leave. Nigaki wants to leave. She wants to leave. I'm not letting her. Of course not. And you know what else? As punishment for wanting to leave you, you should push her to the side. Oh no, she'll be getting a strong side. Push her to the side! Roman, you have never let me push her. You have never let me put her in the center. You and all of the management team have never let me show off who she's supposed Listen to be as a performer. Listen no. to me. Remember those chicken... Those those chicken feathers that we had for Onani Sechiare. Yes. Save them. I want you to build me golden chicken costume. Oh, God. Why did I do to deserve this? Listen to me. In a barn set. Oh, Barns. Oh, God. I'm getting nauseous. I'm planning on asking the choreographer to figure out how to incorporate this. And this. Oh, I'm going to puke. And this. I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna Into puke. the set. I'm just so excited, Roman. Okay, go, go, go. You go, 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 go. Oh, yes, yeah, so excited. Get out. Go, make your dreams happen. Catch your star. Throw it across the way. Damage control, damage control, damage control. Hello? Yes, I just had another meeting with Stunku. We've got some problems. He's gonna push Nagaki. He's bringing in new girls. And he's doing the chicken dance in the barn. Yes! I'm not even exaggerating this time. Firstly, don't let him get Nagaki any of the lines. Okay, maybe some lines. I get that she's the leader now, but she cannot lead. It must be Reina and Riho and... Oh, damn it. Sayumi. Sayumi. She's next in line. Gaki wants to leave anyway. Start getting Sayumi ready. And what else? I don't even know. I'm just so overwhelmed right now. And there's something outside my window. I don't... I can't tell what it is, but I stare at it every damn week. I think this might be the apocalypse. Chicken dancing in barns. It's the end. This is, this is, this. you hung up on me. I work too hard. I work so hard. And this is what I get. Mama was right. <laughs> never fall in love with men who look like women. And never let them lead Japanese pop idol groups and never get any show.